Hello everyone, this is Okan speaking. Uh, guys, before I start my video, I want to say something. Uh, I just decided to make two separate videos instead of one, because um, I noticed uh, when I make a single video dealing with the same issue, both in Turkish and in English, it takes so long. And when our videos are long, you never watch the rest of our videos. You simply skip the English part. You just listen to me when I speak Turkish and you think you're done with it, but actually no. What I recommend you is, you first watch the first video which is in Turkish, understand the issue, and then just to enhance your listening skills, even if you don't understand anything when I speak English, go for the next video and watch our video in English as well, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna be trying to keep this video short, I'm gonna do the best I can, I promise. I'm not gonna make you guys bored. All right, giving and receiving something. When we give something to someone, we need to say something. And there are two phrases you see on the screen. The first one is, here you go. And the second one is, there you go. All right, if, if your friend is asking you to give your mobile phone to him just because he needs to make an urgent call, just as you're giving your mobile phone to him, you can say, here you go. There you go. Or uh, there is another meaning we have here. Uh, if you want to motivate someone just because he has done some good thing, right? He has achieved something. For example, uh, you have a little baby girl and she just uh, started walking, right? It's just a super thing. It's just a good thing. And then you say, there you go, my girl, right? Here you go. That means you're doing it. You're actually doing it. You're trying to motivate the person, okay? And in parentheses, we see two other items as well. And first one is here it is, and the second one is there it is. We use this uh, for some other purpose as well. Here it is, is to show something which is near you. For example, your sister uh, is looking for his sorry, looking for her book and she can't find her book anywhere and then she's shouting at you saying, Okan, where is my book? Have you seen my book? And you just notice that the book is just, just on the table. You can reach it, you can touch it. Then you say, sister, here it is. Or if you see the book from a distance and then you say, there it is, pointing at the book from a distance, all right? So if the object is near you, then you say, here it is, showing it and touching it. And if, if you see it from a distance, then you say, there it is. So we've got two meanings here. We use here it is, uh, just as we're giving something to someone, then we say, here it is. Or if you're showing something to someone, then we can say, here it is. Uh, as you as you see the dialogue here, we have a customer shop assistant, just customer and the shop assistant. <clears throat> customer wants to have a can of Coke, and shop assistant, just as he's passing it to the customer, he says, "Here you go." We, we don't actually use it in our own language. We simply give the object to the person. But just to be polite, if the person who's asking this favor is older than you or if he's someone whom you really don't know, you are advised to use this phrase, okay? Just say, here you go, uh, if, it is, if it is someone who you think deserves some respect. Okay, the second one. The second one is, is how we're saying no thank you. And uh, what you see here is I'm good thanks. Right, you might think you might translate this sentence into Turkish using Google Translate and it might give you this meaning. Evet, ben iyiyim, teşekkür ederim. And this meaning is, 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 is okay, right? You, you can use the sentence to mean that thing, right? If someone is asking you how you are, then you can say, I'm good, thanks. But this has some other meaning as well. So if someone is uh, offering you some drink, but you don't want to. You don't want to have that. You don't want to drink that. Or if, if someone is 
like uh, is, is is if someone wants you to have a dinner have dinner with him or her but if you're full if you don't want to eat anything then you can simply say I'm good thanks that means no thank you you're just full you don't want to eat anything you don't want to drink anything you don't want that thing you simply say I'm good thanks okay just keep that in mind that means I'm good uh, when someone is asking you how you are and that also means I don't want it I don't want it okay so right whether it's a drink or it's, it's some kind of food or uh, it's, it's something that is edible then you can say just to reject the offer you can say I'm good thanks okay let's skip that because it's gonna say take so long uh, all right the next thing is saying yes to an offer and being uh, sorry uh, to, to, sh to show our hospitality to someone uh, we use some other phrases okay the first one is be my guest that means of course you can do it all right for example let's see our example you're traveling uh, you're, you're on the bus and the person sitting next to you reading the newspaper and you want to have a look at the newspaper and see the news all right you want to you want to have the newspaper for about two minutes and then you ask have you finished with the newspaper and then he says be my guest if you translate it in Turkish this would mean totally different but in English it means you can have it all right you can have something I have and you can bring it back or give it back to me all right the next one is help yourself it's not this word help not the actual meaning of help if, if someone is saying help yourself and that means you can you can right do something for yourself but for example if if if, if for example if you want to have a glass of water and if you're kind of shy to ask uh, the person to give you a glass of water, and then you say, for example, can I have a glass of water? And then he might just try to answer you saying, help yourself. Right? That means you can pour some water in your glass and drink it. All right? Use this as well. If you're trying to be polite, if that person is someone whom, whom you really don't know and if you're uh, at the same table right, then if he's asking politely to have a glass of water then you can say help yourself but that means he can have this glass of water on his own right yourself himself sorry and the last one is make yourself at home that means you can act just like the way you act in your house well not that really not that not that way uh, that means enjoy enjoy your stay here right just feel comfortable sit down if you want to watch TV you can watch or if you need something you can just ask right the, 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 we use this a lot right Let's see this example, Eric and Craig, and uh, they arrive at George's house for dinner, and George uh, lets them in, shows them in, and then when they're inside, George says, make yourself at home. That means, don't be shy, if you need anything, just ask me. If you want a drink, please tell me, I can, I can bring you a drink. Or if you want to watch TV, just, just, just turn on the TV and change the channel, whatever you want to do, just feel like you're home, all right? So this is a useful phrase as well. We use it a lot uh, in English uh, and feel free to use it. So make yourself at home means feel yourselves home. Okay, so thanks for watching our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please, uh, if, you're, if you're new in our channel, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, right, you can just uh, leave a comment if you don't like our videos or if, if there are any suggestions that you want to make you can again comment below our 
videos. All right, take care.